Interview and job search strategies at work. This is episode 13 of Interview and Job Search Strategies at Work. Thanks a bunch for watching. Listen to this uh, podcast. I hope you're getting some good value out of it so far. I want to talk on one thing real quick about... Uh, I have a couple relatives. One's going to the military. And then one is going to be a culinary. A culinary school. So, on one hand, you have the military. You go in, you get paid, and you also learn a skill at the same time. Valuable skill. The other side is... You're, you're going for culinary and you're getting a skill, really valuable skill in my mind, because everybody eats, dude. Everybody eats. So I would say that that skill is probably, you know, um, although the maybe the salary is not that much, but it's definitely in demand for every, everywhere uh, versus, you know, another, I don't know, like a political science degree or... Um, what do you call it, a social science or history major, something like that, although those are good, those are good skills to have, by the way, but (laughs) anyway, um, yeah, culinary, everybody eats, so yeah, okay, done, Um, I think the only point I want to bring up is this, one, on one hand, you're getting, you know, you have to, you have to go in debt, that's the only drawback to it, so you're, uh, unless you're, you know, parents or whatever, you're independently wealthy. Um, I think cost is for culinary school. It's probably like forty grand a year. I think, uh, depending on what you go to, if you want to get that fancy degree, you know. So here, here we go. I bring the point up, me saying this: the maybe merge both the, you know. So instead of like me saying one or the other is good or whatever, let's merge the two. And I'll say this, I've given this advice actually uh, recently. And somebody asked me, they said, uh, uh, you know, what about the military, you know? So my advice would be join the military is this. Join it and, um, you know, first of all, get get a great job when you get in. Get a great job. Say you're in high school and you're thinking about it. You talk to a couple recruiters. You know, recruiters are good. Uh, but they're they're salesmen. They're selling you on a job. If if you're not happy with it, don't sign, because the likelihood is you're you're stuck with that job for the next two, three, four years. Um, so here's a here's a different approach approach to all that. Uh, to join the National Guard or to join the uh, Reserve, meaning the what the Army, the Air Force, the Navy. Um, I don't know if the Navy has Reserve. I know the Army and the Air Force do. Um, but, you, you know, guarantee your job. Say, like, uh, uh, well, in this regard, IT. IT would be, like, uh, communications, um, you know, job. So, like, for instance, uh, you know, just do your homework on what what jobs are what. You know, this, uh, let's see, third, 25 series, actually, in the Army is the communication side. I have to do more research on that, but um, in the Air Force, I forget what what the uh, what the jobs are. And at any rate, um, the the skills that you have uh, IT wise are just going to be awesome. So you get what what do you do when you're in the military? You get credibility. You know, um, you, you get a validation of your skill set. They teach you until they 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 teach anybody. Whatever you know, I mean, they could teach, uh, you know, whoever who have who has no idea about internet or computers, they can teach them that skill. That's how good it is. They they do this all the time. They're experts at it, and so they're they're good at that. You know, obviously. Um, and um, so the 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 skill you get in the military when you get out it's just valuable, right? Also, like I said, you get credibility. Uh, you've been validated. You know, you can oh, I'm you know, you can say oh, I'm a veteran or I'm a I learned a skill in the military. It's just there's a credibility to it. You know, it really is. Uh, plus, they pay for your certifications when you get in. You know, and so back to my point, right? Was this? Um, I, I gave this advice, like I said the other day, and, I, and it was this: 
joined the uh, reserve. Uh, I, I, I mentioned to him the the Army Reserve, and then um, do your school. So you, some schools like Army training. Of course, there's like basic training, and uh, uh, and then there's AIT, which is like their school. But if you haven't, uh, if it's an IT skill, and it's like say four or five months, right, of a- AIT. That's a skill you're learning. You're getting credit, you know, you're getting validation. And then check this out. After you're done with the uh, basic training in AIT, let's say it's you're in there four months, five months total for the whole deal. What you're doing is you, you're, you're still in the military, but you just have to do one week in a month and then two weeks out of the year that you do this job or whatever it is you have. Um, so why, why is that good? Or why, what's the benefit of that? What's the difference? You know, why are you trying? Why are you telling me this? So instead of going to college uh, and getting in debt, and instead of joining the military full time, um, do both. You know, do both. So for instance, you join the reserves. You're out in four months. You have a job, or because you, you have a skill, you have a job now, an IT job, because you've gained the skill. So you walk into a job that's a full time job. You do, of course, your two weeks, uh, one week in a month, and then two weeks out of the year for your training. Um, and then after, what, four years or whatever, you can just get out. What, what, how is that different than active duty? Active duty, you're, you're there 24-7, 365. And, you know, Air Force, or I'm sorry, not Air Force, but the reserve, you're not there. 24/7. So the pay is a lot different. You see, we're in the military. It's your. It's based on your rank, whatever your rank is. Um, you know, however, whatever your rank is, E1 to E4, E5, whatever. Um, you know, you can Google it yourself and see what the rank, the pay is. Versus, say, an IT job. If you just start out at 40k a year at IT, but still paying more than. You know what will you get in the military, and so that's the that's the value I would I would think that's the that's the advice I gave uh, to an individual who asked me, and you know he's in high school right and he asked me oh yeah so I gave him that advice, and that's the advice I'm giving y'all now so okay uh, well thanks a lot for listening to this podcast and have a great day.